I have a good feeling that there's going to be a lot of signings in today's episode. I've added a few more players onto the shortlist and today's the day lads. We are going signing every single player that we can. So we've added a few more players onto the shortlist and one of them is Sergi Roberto going straight for him. Waiting for the scout report to come back and we'll see what they say about him. If we can't sign him we'll go for Callum Robinson and if we can't sign him we have a load of other right backs here in which we can sign so there's no panic at all. And hopefully we can solve our centre back crisis in this episode. Jose Aja has just been added onto the shortlist. Heard some pretty good things about him. 23 players for Orlando. Hopefully he can be pretty good. And we also have Jordan Lukaku. Presuming that's Romelu Lukaku's younger brother. We'll see left back for Lazio. Probably will get him on loan. Only 21. Surely they want him loaned out. And we also have Justin Cliver. Right winger for Ajax. 17 years of age. He's just screaming out to be loaned out to New York. I can feel it already. So I've sent in a loan request for Justin Cliver already. Let's see what they say to that. Surely it's either that or they'll come back and offering some low amount i can't imagine him being worth that much already and then jonathan lecco just but just below him another right winger just in case justin cliver doesn't work out and we also have rye and davante cole as well there just in case the striker situation gets fucked up near the end of the transfer window we have two of them there so they might even just be nice just to have on the squad as replacements just in case anybody gets injured so like i said i've already put in a loan request for justin cliver so we might as well see just no point waiting around for a scout report just to let them know that he's pretty good we already know he's good lads and we're also going to straight away put in a loan offer for Jordan Lukaku. See what they say if the worst they can say is no lads. I'm fairly sure they will loan us, loan them to us though because they're so young and they need game time. And I'm sure you already know already lads. I'm not exactly traditional in the sense of doing this career mode. I don't do everything like it should be. So I'm going to do it again this episode lads. I'm going to try and just loan Sergio Roberto straight away from Barcelona. One year. He mightn't be playing and he might just need some game time and then they might bring him back and he could be the starting right back for Barcelona for the rest of his life. And he, we could just give him that chance to get his game time. Or they can say no and they'll offer us 20 million. I swear to God lads it's actually happening again. First of all we start the episode against Montreal Impact. No problem. And then a week later we play New York Red Bulls again. Ah, oh, fucking MLS man. And then we finish off the episode against Colorado Rapids. I'm surprised we didn't play three fucking games against New York City Red Bulls there lads. So we begin this episode against Montreal Impact. No choice. Have to wait for them three loan deals to come back. And see do they come through. And then we have to wait for the rest of the scout reports. So I can actually judge the players by their ratings this time. So... P Piatti makes his first appearance for New York City came from Montreal Impact so he's making his debut against his old club perfect and then we have Villa and Shelton out the in the centre and out the right wing and then Pirlo Sanchez and Lopez in the centre and then everything else is pretty the same lads Alan Chanet Briant Marietta and then Donnarumma in goals hopefully we can get some signings lads start filling up this squad and start rotating players big time first game though away to Montreal absolute animal in that centre mid sees a good run by Piatti on his debut, can he get his first goal? Takes it on that defender, finesses it. Oh my god, what a start for your man. Scoring against his old club and doesn't even hesitate to celebrate. Even though I control his celebrations, he still did it lads, he's a savage. Look at that though, brilliant ball by Lopez. Absolutely makes a laugh of his former teammate and buries it lads. 1-0 up, looking like a good start to his season anyway. Oh, get that away. No, that's not a clearance. Oh, they try and back heel it in, the cheeky bastards. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, Montreal are playing fucking unbelievable. And then as soon as I say that, that's the type of cross he puts in. Good play. Good ball into Sanchez. Hit it across the keeper. Oh, penalty ref. Fuck it. 71st minute, lads. Have to make a substitution. Pirlo is just so tired in that centre mid position. We have to take him off. I'm going to bring on a Coley in the centre mid because we have no other centre mids to put in there. And we're going to bring on Chetri instead of Davavia. See how he gets on there. Now we get a corner. Piatti on the ball. Probably the better person to be taking corners. Good balling. Head on it. And we're 2-0 up. 10 minutes left, that surely game, set, match, New York City. I'm not even sure who that goal scorer was. Chetri, unbelievable. Substitution, last 10 minutes. I think that's his first touch of the game as well because the substitution only came on when that corner was given. So, happy days, 2-0 up and first touch by Chetri, goal. Sanchez, do your defensive duties. They hit a lovely shot, hits off the post. Can we stop the rebound? Yes, we do. And Donnarumma collects it. That was a serious little shot. It was probably their only major chance the whole entire game as well. End of the game, lads. We win 2-0. Pretty convincing win. But you can just tell once the signings start coming in, these games are just going to get very, very dominant in our favour. But that's not what it's all about, lads. We're here to make the best squad possible to win the MLS Cup. And that's what we're going to do. Piatti gets his debut goal, debut man of the match, and debut 
debut assist. Fucking brilliant game for him. No fucking way is this after happening, lads. Barcelona have just accepted our loan offer for Sergi Roberto. Are you absolutely fucking serious? 135 grand in wages, but that's well worth it, lads. He is going to be unbelievable in that right back position. How the fuck is this after happening? But first, we have to accept Justin Cliver. We forgot about him. He's alone as a minute, also accepted. Happy days, bring him into the club. Nice little solid right winger. And then. Jordan Lukaku's loan offer has also been accepted. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on? Happy days. So we have a right winger, a left back, and a right back now, and we haven't even signed anyone. Look at this, lads. 135 grand. Fair enough. But look, now we still have 14 million left and 250 grand wages. But Sergi Roberto is actually coming to New York City. What is actually after happening? How is this even after happening, lads? He's 79 rated right back after coming to the MLS on loan for a year. Yes, happy days. Lukaku is actually 73 rated. Rated. Pretty fucking decent as well, and then Clyburn 62 rated. Still a decent little player though, he'll be handy for the squad. What is after happening, lads? This is unreal. So I'm gonna be extremely patient with this transfer window, lads. I wanna really pick the best players to play. So I'm waiting for every single scout report to come back, and then we'll definitely decide which player's best in a centre mid or a centre back position, and then we'll kind of sign everyone else after that. Maybe some young lads put them in there on the bench, strikers, left wingers. No, why not? We'll try and loan and sign everyone we can. But lads. Another game against New York Red Bulls. The derby just doesn't feel right anymore. The first one was fun, the second one was okay. Now, this is just getting annoying, lads. We're playing them nearly every single episode. It's kind of getting annoying, but we beat them nearly every single time, so happy out. Let's try and beat them again. Let's go away to New York. Debut for three players on today's team, lads Lukaku, Clivert, and Roberto come into the team. Still don't know how we got Sergi Roberto, but fuck it, he's in there now anyway. So, lads, this is surely it, lads. The top three look unbelievable now with Piatti, Davavia and Clivert. Oh, this is going to be a dominant game. I have a good feeling about this one. Sanchez running around the ball, yes. And back into Sanchez again. Take around that defender. Hit your long shot. Oh, just wide. Sanchez collects the ball. Sees Pirlo making a nice from the centre. And one more. Yes, hit that first time. David Villa. Get in, lads. 1-0. It's a long time coming. 55 minutes it took in the whole entire game. Wasn't a whole lot of chances in the first half, lads. I was thinking it was going to be a nil-all draw. But New York City FC prevail. Look at that, though. Sanchez to Pirlo. Pirlo, beautiful ball into David Villa. Defender clearly wasn't strong enough because he got his first time shot away. 1-0 up. Oh, shit. That's a good touch. Oh my god, why did he turn back? He turned back. Oh, Donnarumma. Donnarumma. What are you after doing? Watch this, lads. He was running in. He was basically one on one with the keeper. And then turns back. Gets a shit shot. Donnarumma doesn't catch it. Now it's 1 all. What is after happening? Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, no, no, no. We're not losing the game. We're not losing this game. That's two blocks now that went straight back to him. It's not looking good. Three blocks that went straight back to him. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought EA was going, fuck you, you're not winning this game. They're worming their way into another cross. They do get it. Oh, they get a touch on it as well. And Donnarumma still can't catch a ball. Oh, no, no way. Come on, Donnarumma. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I thought the game was lost there. That's the end of the game as we draw. And I think they drew the last time as well, one all. We draw with New York Red Bulls. One all draw. Wasn't really a great game, but there was two goals in it after all. Who gets mad at the match? None of our team gets mad at the match. D. Royer from New York Red Bulls gets man of the match. Team didn't play exactly well today, but we still get a point. So most of the scout reports have come back about our centre backs, and this is the lad I think we're going to go for. Matt Myazga, 4.3 million. Might get him for 4 million. We'll see what we can do. He seems like the best out of all the players there. If not, we're going to try and sign Drew Moore from, tri tr from Toronto. We're going to offer them 4 million here, even though he's worth 4.3 see what they say to that then we still have at least 10 million left for a lot of good players and then towards the center midfield is what we're going to go for is this defensive midfielder but i think he can play in the center mid as well is christian higuita i'm going to go with that one 71 rated only 21 says he's worth 2.6 but i'm presuming he's going to be worth a bit more the board says he's going to be worth 3.2 and 3.8 so just going to round it off nicely put it at three see what they say to that so there's seven million gone on two players there already and then we'll have about five million after that to sign whoever we 
want to loan some young lads or even buy some lower rated players okay so last game of this episode and hopefully after we can end up signing those two players it'll be a perfect end to an episode lads at home to Colorado I've made a few changes to the squad now David Villa keeps his position up front for now anyway Hayati obviously keeps his position out the left wing because he's class Harrison is back in the squad in the right wing because Justin Cliver didn't really play well in the last game but he's only a young lad anyway so nothing major and then Discarude replaces Pirlo for today because Pirlo is wrecked tired and then the back line is exactly the same because everyone seems fine right there so that's it lads that's the squad we're going for for the final game of this episode at home to Colorado Rapids can we make up for the last game lads get three points and end this game or end this episode perfectly through ball into Sanchez and back into David Villa again finesse that David Villa oh that was a shit shot and Tim Howard makes easy work of that yes back to you again and hit that now Sanchez oh just wide David Villa to Sanchez does he have a finesse he does oh just over the bar Tim Howard was struggling there yes into this group and sees David Villa making a sweet run down the centre again no he keeps getting caught by the defender but passing it to this group can he hit it first time no the defender closes him down and on that note David Villa is just way too slow up that front today so we're going to bring on Chetri see how he gets on up there and we're going to bring on Shelton for Harrison for a bit of extra pace up the top yes Lukaku gets the ball straight off that player and David Villa into Sanchez this is it lads double tap Sanchez yes 1-0 lads this team is actually really coming out really nicely couple of more signings and the games won't even be this close hopefully this is a very very good squad we're putting together lads David Villa and Sanchez have been connecting well all game David Villa's last contribution of the game was an assist to Renato Sanchez happy out 1-0 up get it down the right wing oh that's great strength Chetri and back into him again Yes, Chetri, just on the pitch. Score! Oh, just wide. If he scored that, he was definitely starting the next game. 110%. Sanchez continues his run, yes. Take it around that defender. Brilliant. Keep going. And down the right wing. Brilliant ball into Shelton. Just on the pitch as well. Keep going, man. Take it around that defender. Pass it in. Sanchez, surely a goal. 2 0. We left it late, lads, but fuck it. Better than nothing. 2 0 up. Sanchez is an animal in this game brilliant play by Shelton just on the pitch more than likely always going to be faster than defenders anyway and that's a brilliant finish by Sanchez didn't even try to put power on it just easy finesse and that's it lads that's the end of the game we win 2-0 thanks to two goals by Renato Sanchez what a game he had today surely he's man of the match Sanchez does get man of the match with a 9.4 rating fucking unbelievable game from him today 2-0 win another three points on the board and just as the episode comes to an end or Orlando have accepted our 3.5 million offer for Christian Huguita, the centre midfielder in which we are looking for and he wants 5 grand a week, no problem, that's only an extra £100 and he wants 4 years on his contract and then we're going to give him a crucial first team player just to sweeten the deal. The good news is we're in the quarterfinals of the US Open Cup. The bad news is we're fucking playing New York Red Bulls in the next episode, lads. But this is how the table looks for all of you who give a fuck. We are on 44 points, 9 points clear of Montreal Impact, who do have 2 games in hand. But it's looking likely we're going to be easing our way into the MLS Cup and hopefully winning the goddamn thing after all this effort. That's the end of the episode, lads. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. Come on, lads. We signed Sergi Roberto. That deserves a like. Leave anything you want to say down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.